Adam, tell yes. me about the Fijian hat. <laughs> it's a Fijian hat, uh, P-H-R-Y-G-I-A-N, also known as a liberty cap. And it goes back more than 2,500 years to an uh, ancient nation called Phrygia, which was conquered by Alexander the Great. Alexander enslaved the Phrygians because they resisted so much. They were a free people. They didn't want to be part of the uh, Greek Empire. They were brought back to Europe from Asia Minor, and eventually these Phrygians kind of worked themselves to freedom and became known during the Roman time as a free people that were not Roman, that lived with the Romans. Now, this hat was eventually given to freed slaves in Rome. Look across the United States, New York, uh, North Carolina, uh, Arkansas, Hawaii, Iowa, West Virginia, and there are others. And that tradition lasted all the way through colonial times in the United States. A freed slave in the North would often have a Phrygian hat on their head. Just like to the identify 1850s, etc.? Uh, more like uh, 17th century, 16th, uh, 18th century. Okay. Um, this was really common. In the time of George Washington, he adopted it as the national symbol of, for the United States prior to the U.S. flag. When George Washington was inaugurated president in 1789, his inaugural pin was very simple. It just said 1789 and it had a pole with this hat on it. Um, you look at uh, the French Revolution, this was a popular symbol. That's where I recognize it from. Marianne, she wears this hat. They borrowed it from the American Revolution. Uh, so did other countries in Latin America, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, all have this seal. And so we're bringing it back. And it's understandable, I didn't know what it was last December, and this is, you know, we're here May Day, and it's like, wow, I'm, I'm only known about this for five months. We've made hundreds of these hats, we sew them in D.C., we give them away to people. People wear them, they say, why are you wearing that silly Smurf hat? And then we, they get the story I just gave you. So, I hope this catches on. It's a beautiful symbol, it belongs to every American, it belongs to people all across the world, really. And, yeah. uh, and, and it transcends national identity, which is what I really like about it, too.